forecast for Monday, June 10th. Okay, so we have the moon in Leo all day. This is the heart and soul of the zodiac. This is our authentic vibration, our authentic version of self. This is the playful energy, the creative energy that we channel from our higher selves through the physical form and therefore express ourselves, leaving our mark on the world around us. The moon in Leo is definitely encouraging us to be a little bit more playful, to tap into that playful, creative curiosity. And of course, being in Gemini season with all of this Gemini energy, we love fire and air working together as long as it doesn't get out of control and burn the whole place down. This is going to definitely bring a spark, a fire, a flame to our inner realm, really pushing the mental plane to really think very carefully, very thoroughly of what it is that we could do differently, where it is that we can expand, where it is that we could definitely share this new version of self, this new mood, this new attitude, this new want, need, and desire with the world around us. So we definitely have a lot of heart activations taking place here today. If you need to go back and listen to the Ascension forecast for the week to understand where this energy is going to manifest in the physical form, I'm definitely going to recommend you do that. We also just have to keep in the back of our mind that Mars just shifted into this Taurus energy. We're still kind of adjusting to it. It is a very, I'm going to call it dynamic contrast to the energies that we've been sitting in. The restlessness, the ants in our pants definitely subsiding a little bit, which is going to increase the amount of pressure on the headspace. There's a lot of windows open in the headspace. We're rapidly processing different options, different variables, different perspectives. Of course, that is going to continue throughout Gemini season. But with the moon in Leo energy, we're trying to get heart and head aligned. Now, today, there are eight different aspects. All eight involve the moon. This means that this is a moon day on Monday moon day, which means that there's a lot of emotional refinement going to take place here today, building ourselves up in confidence, in clarity on what it is that we want to do, what we want to pursue from here. So right out of the gate, we have the moon in Leo energy, semi-squaring, creating a little bit of tension with the sun, of course, in Gemini energy. So anytime that the moon and the sun are coming together, there's going to be a new revelation, a new epiphany, a new aha moment on what we want or what we don't want. And of course, realizing what we don't want opens us up to discover what it is that we would prefer instead. Again, we are in Gemini season, the extremes, the dualistic nature of the options, of the opportunities, of the path, of the direction that we want to take, that we want to be walking are going to be very extreme. And so this is like the ebb and flow, the back and forth, the up and down that we have to go through in order to find that sweet spot. So of course, a semi-square is a little bit of tension, a little bit of conflict. Our heart wants something that our head hasn't really decided upon as of yet. And because we're using the intellect to sort through this Gemini energy, our heart space, our intuition hasn't really kind of had the opportunity to chime in. This is going to be a different mood, different attitude in order for us to realize what our heart wants that our head hasn't actually caught up to as of yet. The moon in Leo then going to semi-square Venus, because of course Venus, the goddess of love, beauty, worth, pleasure, and money, she's also in this Gemini energy working very closely with the sun, of course, in that stellium energy under that new moon in Gemini that we just had. The moon interacting with Venus in this way, again, tension point, conflict point. Our heart wants something that we haven't quite decided upon, especially where relationships and money matters are concerned. Keeping in mind that Venus is, yes, about love and relationships, but she's also about our physical realm. She's looking for peace and harmony. She's looking for stability, safety, security. And of course, the choices, the options that she's trying to kind of debate between and choose between are also very extreme in this Gemini energy. Again, the heart bringing in a new perspective, a new want, new need, new desire that's going to take a little bit of time to wrap our headspace around. The moon is then going to make a positive interaction with Uranus, the great awakener in Taurus energy. This is definitely going to download us with a sense of clarity. Now, again, let me be very clear. In Gemini season, a lot of the clarity that we're gaining is coming out of removing options, 
removing certain opportunities, removing certain directions, certain paths that we were once contemplating. So again, clarity comes in all kinds of different forms, but this Uranian energy kind of opens up our mind space, our heart space, a different perspective, if you will, on where it is that we could do things differently, especially in our physical realm. This is also pushing us in a new level of awareness acting as the observer to see what it is that our heart is pulling us to do and pursue that again, our mental plane or intellect may not quite understand as of yet. The moon is then going to try and beautiful interaction with that North node in Aries energy, trying to get us on the right path, trying to get us on the soul mission, the soul quest to reach our soul's potential. This is fire on fire energy. And we love fire on fire energy for a couple of reasons. First of all, fire energy, allows us to burn through the cords of attachment to the past, which many of us need right now. That fire energy is also very regenerative. So just as we're closing the door on something, we're renewing ourselves, we're rebirthing ourselves, this new creative force energy, this new version of self. This is a opportune time to see where it is that we're bossing up, where it is that we're growing up, where it is that we're healing, where it is that we're repairing ourselves and preparing ourselves to make a major change, to pivot, if you will, into a new path, into a new direction. The moon is then going to make a positive interaction with Saturn. Saturn, of course, the Lord of Karma, ruling over roles, responsibilities, systems, structures, discipline, willpower. He's in this Pisces energy, trying to wrap up a 30-year cycle, trying to deconstruct the old version of self, the old ways of doing things, the old belief system that dictated how it is that we were operating. We love this interaction because it means that we are building ourselves up in optimism, in confidence. We are heart aligned. We realize the roles and responsibilities that we are bossing up into are going to cost us a lot as far as willpower and discipline go, but also reward us greatly for growing, for healing, for finally getting ourselves to the version of self needed in order to be the right vibration and frequency to start build something new. The moon is then going to make an awkward interaction with Neptune, who's in his place of power in this Pisces energy. This is actually going to be good for us. It is going to feel a little bit unsettled, but of course, the energy that is kind of manifesting here is giving us an opportunity to align with our intuition, to align with our higher self, to align with our heart space, to see where there's new creative energy coming in, giving us a goal, a vision, a dream that we actually want to pursue. This is a renewal in our soul, in our spirit, a reassurance that we have to listen to our heart space and really incorporate our intuition in our decision making, especially here in Gemini season, where it's all about the intellect. And this particular energy is just kind of I'm going to say validating and confirming to us that there is something that may not make a whole lot of logical, practical sense to us. And again, intellect from the Gemini energy, but our heart, our soul, our higher selves, our intuition just knows that a certain path, a certain decision, a certain choice point is 100% for us to make and to take at this particular juncture. The moon is then going to make a positive interaction with Jupiter, the planet of growth, expansion, beliefs, abundance, and blessings. Now in this Gemini energy, really putting a lot of pressure on us to expand our thoughts, to expand on our ideas, to really open up our mind, to see different choice points, different options, different opportunities, to learn something new, to really throw ourselves into new topics and themes, to actually push ourselves outside of the comfort zone and explore new territory. So of course, this is a positive interaction. This is going to do wonders to really turn the volume all the way up on all the good feels. We're feeling optimistic. We're feeling like we could accomplish anything. We're feeling confident that what we have our our eyes set on, our sight set on, should I say, that this is absolutely achievable, that it's obtainable, that it's something that we're being called to do and called to pursue. The moon then sextiles beautiful interaction with Mercury. Mercury rules over Gemini season. He's in his rulership in Gemini energy. The moon is our heart space. Mercury is our head space and they're getting along. They're on the same page. They're really kind of, I'm going to say, playing off of each other in order for us to tap into a new vision, new goal, new dream. This is creative life force energy really taking over, pushing us in our realest, most authentic version of self and therefore aligning with the path that is going to lead us to our soul's greatest potential. 
So our heart and our head, they're working together, especially with coming up with creative solutions on resolving some of the issues that we are currently facing. But even more than that, it can open up the lines of communication that have been a little bit fuzzy as of late. And of course, if you find yourself in a situation where communication conversations have to be had, they're going to be very heartfelt. They're also going to be a little bit extra, a little bit over dramatic, if I do say so myself, just because again, the moon in this Leo energy, we want attention. We want to step out. We want to be seen. We want to be heard. And especially if we're being real and raw and authentic with aligning with our emotions, aligning with our heart space, and we have some things to get off our chest, you best believe it is going to be very heartfelt, very moving. Nonetheless, we are in for a day of really seeing a different perspective. And again, I'm going to encourage you to listen to the Ascension forecast for this week because we are approaching the pivot point where we're coming out of focusing on the not so nice thoughts and ideas and problems and issues. And we're starting to problem solve again, getting heart aligned and trying to get the heart and the head on the same page. <laughs> 